In this exercise, we have the heart's dipole that consists of two charges, one with a charge, one with a positive charge of 10 to the minus 7 coulombs, and the other one with a negative charge of minus 10 to the minus 7 coulombs, separated by 6 centimeters. And right above the, the positive charge, 8 centimeters above, uh, there is uh, point A, and we want to calculate the electric field on point A, given that the, the dielectric constant, kappa, is equal to 7. So remember that the electric field uh, in, generated by a charge, Q, uh, that in, in a medium that has a dielectric con constant kappa is equal to K, K here is the Coulomb's constant, times Q, Q is the charge divided by kappa times the distance squared. In our case, the total electric field will be the electric field generated by the negative charge plus the electric field generated by the, by the positive charge. Uh, so we can calculate both of them and then sum them up. So the electric field generated by the positive charge is equal to KQ divided by K r squared times j, j here is the unit vector in the y direction. I have set up a coordinate system such that the y axis is pointing upwards while the x axis is pointing to the right. So the electric field generated by the positive charge will be uh, K, which is 9 times 10 to the 9th newtons meters squared divided by coulombs squared times Q, which is 10 to the minus 7th coulombs, divided by kappa uh, times the distance squared. And point A is 8 centimeters apart from uh, the positive charge, so it's 0 0.08 squared. J, so E plus is equal to 2 times 10 to the 4th newtons per coulomb, the j direction. Uh, I'm going to highlight this because we're going to need it. And then we can calculate the electric field generated by the negative charge. So that is minus kq divided by kappa r squared j. So this is minus 9 times 10 to the 9 newtons meters squared per coulomb squared times 10 to the minus 7 coulombs divided by kappa, which is 7, times the distance between the negative charge and the positive charge. Notice that it's 6 plus 8 centimeters, or 14 centimeters. So it's 0 0 .0, um, sorry, 0 0.14 meters squared j. So E minus is equal to minus 6.6 uh, .6 times 10 to the third newtons per coulomb in the J direction. So we have the electric field E, that's E plus plus E minus. So that is 2 point, uh, I'm sorry, only 2 times 10 to the fourth minus 6.6 .6 times 10 to the third j newtons per coulomb and the electric field is equal to 1.34 times 10 to the fourth um, j newtons per coulomb. So notice that the magnitude of the field is just 1.34 times 10 to the fourth newtons per coulomb, while the direction is upward. Then we have to calculate the force that, ex that is exerted on a sodium, sodium ion that is uh, located on point A and has a charge of plus 1.6 times 
10 to the minus 19 coulombs. Remember that the force is equal to the charge times the electric field. And since the charge is positive, then the force is, has, uh, is in the same direction as the electric field. Uh, so basically, the force will be upward. We can already say that. And also, the magnitude of the force is Q times the magnitude of the electric field. So that's 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19th coulombs times the electric field, which is 1.34 times 10 to the fourth newtons per coulomb. So F is equal to 2.1 times 10 to the minus 15 newtons.